Let's jump into this first story. Um, wow, welcome to the age of internet drama and gossip. As uh, nothing is really happening in the news, you can all go to bed, uh, I guess. Or you can hear us talk about someone's private business, which shouldn't be on the front page of the Daily Mail and shouldn't be trending on Twitter, but here we are. Uh, Steven Crowder has addressed the video that was released. Released, broken marriages are ugly. In them, people do ugly things. Steven Crowder, they say, doubles down as he claims wife leaked edited video of his verbal abuse. Didn't, like, isn't that true, though? Didn't Candace Owens say that the his wife is the one who released the video footage? Uh, for those that don't know, video footage was put out by Yashir Ali. I think we have it here. And uh, it's actually not that bad. I just don't want to play it because it's just ridiculous that Yashir, I got to say, I know Yashir, like, to a certain degree, like, on Twitter and we've DM'd and stuff. I don't know him personally. And uh, I've I've messaged him stuff, throughout, like, I don't know, just DM'd and stuff. He sent me something recently. This is some of the most disgusting stuff I've ever seen. If someone came to me and said, I have video of Jenk Uger fighting with Anna Kasparian, I'd just be like, I'm not interested. Have a nice day. Leave. Are don't they, care. Don't care. Are they together? Are they no. Dating? I'm saying, like, if there was some personal <laughs> beef between some commentator and somebody, when uh, when there was the fight between Jenk Uger and the union at his own company, oh, that's totally different. Like, they were, they, were, they were trying to form a union and Jank apparently was yelling at him. And here's the account of the people because that strikes at exactly what their politics are. Different story. Yep. If they were like, they were having a personal fight over like a parking space or, you know, something he was eating. And I'm like, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to talk about this. Mm -hmm. But here we, here we are. And I find myself hearing, I mean, for one, Candace Owens airing the story, criticizing Crowder. And I'm just like, why? For, for what, what, what reason did this story become Front page, well, it, trending. It could just be retaliation for the whole situation with the Daily Wire when he yeah. came forward of the contract dispute. Which literally uh, makes it worse. Like, yeah. That just makes it even more I, gross. I don't think the Daily Wire as a corporation has anything to do with this. No. No, I think... Uh, well, I'm just saying it could be. I, mean, I, I, don't, I shouldn't speculate because I literally have no clue, but I'm just it's one thing that comes to mind. Well, I'm saying uh, Candace but, Owens doesn't like him mm -hmm. because of this. So I, I think Candace has chosen to uh, uh, cover this story, okay. and she does not like Steven Crowder. Right, yeah, I knew that about them. It's, I don't know, it's one of those things where, obviously it does not look good for him, but if, you know, I was saying before the show, like if you're a, a judge in a divorce case, if you only saw one party's discovery or their claims, you're 100% of the time gonna think the other person is the most evil, disgusting person on earth. Um, we have known, I don't know nothing about his wife, I know nothing about the background. I commented on, nope. it, it is, I don't know, sort of uncomfortable to comment on. Just, this is, we, we know two minutes of the relationship and it looks bad for him, but it's literally all I know. So, so let's, let's, let's play Crowder's uh, statement, which has four million views on, on Twitter. There's a text statement with four million views and then the video with a million. Here's what he said. I commented on my ongoing divorce on Tuesday, requesting privacy in the best interest of the family, but also by court order agreed upon by all parties. Look. Broken marriages are ugly, and in them people do ugly things. Myself, of course included, I would never claim otherwise. However, due to recent misleadingly edited leaks to the tabloid press without context and not subject to consequences of the court, well, if not privacy, the next best option is truth. So today, I have filed a motion to officially unseal all files as they relate to the matter of legal record finances, relevant medical records, including mental health history or evaluations, depositions, and any motions or sanctions from the courts of Texas. I will not be leaking private marital information to the press, but if the privacy agreements are not respected by all parties, I will address all that is a matter of irrefutable legal record in full context next week. I think Yasher lied. Uh, I watched the video yesterday. I didn't realize there was a three minute video. I thought Yasher only put out 20 seconds. So that was my mistake. And then I did watch the video and I think Yasher Ali lied about the context and is trying to manipulate the framing to make Steven Crowder look as bad as possible. Well, well, there is this one quote at the end where he says something like, they put up the quote on the screen of, I'm going to F you up, I think, but they say it's off camera and we just, the most damning claim, we sort of have to take their word for it. And by the way, Yasher, I know this is aside the point, but he went into hiding for like a year because there was some Daily Beast article about him where it came out, he was like couch surfing on like Kathy Griffin's couch and wouldn't leave, like just bizarre stuff with this guy. So he's not uh, the most credible guy. Not like it, you know, changes the clip or anything. But uh, it just, I don't know. Not the guy I think should be getting that much attention in the first place. Uh, the, the whole thing is just gross. It sucks that that this is the topic du jour. It sucks that there <laughs> is the just the video got out at all. This is the lie yeah. right here. Yeah. So maybe I'm wrong. 
But let me tell you what I think. In Yasher's article, it says Crowder gets irritated and says that if Hillary, his very pregnant wife, takes the car, he can't go to the gym, see his parents or see his friends. You know what it actually sounds like? And this is why I'm telling people, watch out for these videos like the Covington Catholic kids. He doesn't say in the video, if you take the car, I can't go to the gym. I can't see my parents. I can't see my friends. He says something to the effect of, I can't see my friends. I can't see my fam. Uh, I can't see. I can't see my, my my parents. I can't go to the gym. I can't see my friends. Every moment of my life is is um, like tracked down to the yeah. second. But you can go do whatever you want. How does that make sense? But it sounds like they're having an argument about something we've not heard because the video is pulled out of context. And I really, first of all, you gotta understand this too. Not saying Crowder's innocent. Mm-hmm. I'm saying ask yourself why it is they are arguing right now on this patio. What started it, you don't see. When you see stuff like this, for all we know, a Native American guy walked up to Stephen Crowder and started banging a drum in his face, (laughs) screaming at him, and then she stood there with her arms crossed. The Native American guy leaves, Mm -hmm. and then she says, I love you, Stephen. And he goes, what the? Mm -hmm. And then it makes him look bad. Not literally, you get my point, though. The things that I think really make him, I don't know, look bad is the word, but the whole one car thing could obviously look very controlling. Um, you know, telling his wife to get an Uber instead of driving. So it's just little things like that. I think people might pick up on, even if the cliff is out of context. I mean, also things too, like if, if I had an eight month pregnant wife, I don't think I'd be asking her to do house chores at that stage. I'd probably pay someone to do it if I had his money. Um, so, you know, not to give him marriage advice or anything. What, what money does he have? Allegedly, he gets paid for his show. No, I, I don't know what his net worth is. I would assume though it's probably in the, the low millions, if, if not. Uh, that, that's another mistake people yeah. are making. It's like the assumption that Crowder's rich when, in fact, he only has one car. And this was in 2021. I, I, you know, I remember there were some numbers on, on how many paid subscribers he had, but I, I'm drawing He didn't blank. know because yeah. the, he, he was contracted with the Blaze. Mm-hmm. See, this, this is the thing I don't like about people see this stuff. They make assumptions. Crowder's got millions of, of subscribers. Therefore, he's a millionaire. He might be, yeah. but, but I'm if, not, I, don't, I don't know that for sure. But even if you're pulling like 400K a year, you can pay someone like 10 grand a year to do chore. I, I don't know. I, I just feel like it, it shouldn't be a problem. You can't pay someone 10 grand a year. Maybe I could. I don't, I don't, I mean, like if you did a part-time I'm making up numbers, thing, obviously, but I, I just mean, you know, you could, you could afford uh, something probably. If you're going to have someone work full-time doing like housekeeping stuff, mm-hmm. you might be able to pay them low hourly wages. Mm-hmm. But I, I think it's important to point out, I don't know, uh, how much Crowder made. And this is from 2021. However, you got to understand he was under contract with the Blaze. So my assumption is, and again, I don't know. My assumption is he probably signed a deal a long time ago and was not getting as paid as much as people think he was. And he's got staff and production costs. Mm -hmm. When he was going to do the deal with the Daily Wire, that probably would have put him personally into the millionaire category. Mm -hmm. But that may have been his first foray into it. We don't don't know for sure. Now that I think of it, 10 grand for a butler is probably cheap. I'll tell you what I think. I think uh, the video is clearly bad. I think Crowder recognizes there's 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 bad things in it. Mm-hmm. I don't trust Yasher Ali's, Ali's framing. He says, as they headed inside, Crowder got anger and angrier and was, by his admission, via audio I reviewed, yelling angrily, I will F you up. Mm-hmm. Everyone just believes Yasher yeah, Ali. Remember. It reminds me of, remember, this was I like, don't trust these people, remember dude. Remember 10 years ago when there was a clip where Mel Gibson was having this apocalyptic end of life explosion and his girlfriend that got leaked. And on her side, her reaction was very calm and controlled, kind of like, stop talking to me that way. That's not nice. And you could tell it was a setup. Mm-hmm. You know, in this situation, I could see someone making that argument, but then there's also the case that Steven knows he's on, he's on camera too. So, you but know, he, but, I, I don't but know. Look, man, I've done phone calls with people yeah. and you know they're being recorded, but you don't expect someone to knife you in the back. It is weird. Like, even on shows like this, you do kind of forget anyone's watching if, you know, after a certain amount of time. Uh, well, I, I don't, get, I don't, I don't but, think Crowder ever expected that his home security camera mm-hmm. Would, would be weaponized Accurate. against yeah, him in this way. Not. That's why I deleted my ring the first thing after I saw that. <laughs> That's crazy. I would not have these things. Like, we have we have security cameras, but <clears throat> in your backyard. Closed, like, cir- closed circuit. Turn off the audio. Is different, though. Different, though. Turn, them, turn them on when you're not around. Turn them off when you're outside doing your thing, unless you want everything you're doing recorded to be weaponized against you. Because there was this uh, period where people had all these cameras, and you could easily log in. Anyone could log in at any point anywhere. Mm-hmm. And 4chan... <clears throat> excuse me, published a link and they're like, if you click this, it will show you everyone's cameras Damn. because it was just not secure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So mm-hmm. here's how I kind of feel about this. Seems like they were arguing about something else. Mm-hmm. It seems like we're only getting this snippet where it's very convenient that his wife is saying stuff like, I love you. You're so abusive. Mm-hmm. And then Crowder is being like, what you, you won't, you won't 
give the dogs medicine. Mm -hmm. Granted, his wife's pregnant. Eight That's a pregnant. thing you really shouldn't be. He should probably yeah. be like, go lay down. Yeah. But it feels like there's something else here that we're not being told about. Mm -hmm. Crowder doesn't want to talk about it and his hands are tied. Right. They've put Crowder in a very, very bad position where they can lie about him in any way they want. And no matter what he says, people will attack him for it. And they might be sitting on another thing similar too. So if anyone defends it, then it goes, oh, well, what about this? You know, people, people are saying too, like, uh, or I guess, yeah, yeah, I'll just, that, that was the point. All right. There, there, there's, there's more, there, there's probably more they're waiting to release. People are saying like, well, Crowder's the one who brought this up. Crowder clearly mentioned this because he knew the video had been released to people like Yashir Ali. And the fact that his wife, I'm, I'm just going to say it right now. As, as soon as I found out that his wife is the one who leaked it, or, or I should say, mm -hmm. if assuming it's true, then I am immediately not on her side. Mm -hmm. Yashir Ali is, is not a trustworthy not individual. Yeah. He is one of these leftist corporate journalists, and he's clearly framing things to hurt Steven Crowder, and you're not getting the full picture. Mm -hmm. So for a, a short, here's the other thing too about the I will F you up. Should he have said it? No. Is if, that, if he did. Would, it, assuming was, he did, yeah. should he have said it? Absolutely not. But hold on. In your mind, how did you hear Steven Crowder say it? Is he going, leave, leave. I will F you. Yeah. Or you're saying, if you do this, I will F you up. I'm telling you, okay, I shouldn't have said that, but I'm, I'm, say, I'm saying, I will go to court. Mm -hmm. Was it something like th that? Yeah. And then Yasha saying yelling angrily. And then Yasha's going to be like, well, I think that was yelling angrily. I mean, this is my opinion. I mean, to be it's fair, an opinion piece. To be fair, as you're yelling that in the back of your head, you're going, this woman's taking half of everything I've ever worked for. So, yeah. you know, it's it, it just seems like the issue is they're clearly arguing about something we don't know about. Mm -hmm. And in this snippet, she's very much like, I love you so much, Crowder. And then Crowder even says, you keep saying this, mm -hmm. but you're so what I what I think is probably. Crowder is probably, and this is just wild speculation right now, seems like he's frustrated that he works all the time doing this show, getting all this flack, getting demonetized, he's working, and he doesn't feel like she's a partner in this. Mm -hmm. That's why he's saying stuff like, you're not, you're, you're not doing wifely things. Mm -hmm. The media, Yasher, they're trying to frame it like, how dare he be so sexist and say wifely things, when it may be the context that he's like, all you do is go, 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 go talk, like hang out with your friends, you're not, you're not carrying the same amount of weight that I'm carrying and I'm asking for a partnership. Mm -hmm. I am not saying he's innocent. I am not saying I know the context. I'm saying consider these things because they're not giving you the context and I'm not gonna make assumptions yeah. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna explore the possibilities and then say prove it to me or else. Yeah, I'm I'm just listen. It's, it's someone else's business. Mine is just it looks bad, but I, I've been giving two minutes of context into a ten year marriage. Boom. I, I know nothing right there. Yeah, yeah. And then my question is like, why did Candace Owens put this out? Yeah. But also, if your wife is eight months pregnant, just maybe you should do some chores instead. But, I think yeah. you, <laughs> I think you're right about the the fact you, that I, I I understand that sentiment, but like. Does Crowder work 12 hour days? That is true. He probably works obsessive is, hours. Is he, is he coming home smelling like crap, drenched yeah. in sweat with oil all over his face because he just did a show and planning. And then he and then he comes home and he's just like, all I'm saying is give the dog their medicine. Yeah. May, like th this is the challenge I see. For all we know, Crowder works an hour a day and has a staff do everything. And he shows up and he just, he's a funny guy. It's easy for him. And then he sits at home smoking cigars all day doing no work. Yeah. And his wife is like, then I'm not going to do anything either. I'm not, so I'm saying, you know, maybe he's not a good dude. But I mean, you yeah. know how many how much effort these kind of shows take just to put on and the research. So you know, obviously the guy works obsessive hours. I mean, I see that even with Dan, I don't know how he does it physically. So yeah, it's quite a, a lot of work. That's why I'm like, I, I want to. I, I don't trust. I don't trust anybody in this. Yeah. And uh, I don't. I don't think that like right away. Just Candace should not have published this. That's like a big, major, huge negative in my opinion. I that, I find that to be kind of like lowbrow. Just just what the. Why? Do we have it confirmed that she is the one? Like, I, I know the, tr the link was from Stephen's wife to Yasha. I didn't know. Did he also send it to her? I, well, I, I just, I'll, that... I'll put it this way. Yeah. I don't think Candace should have Commented gone on, on her show, or... played the video, and then started, you know. Gotcha. They probably have some huge behind the scenes thing. And, um, and, and, and I, I, will, I will absolutely take flack for us even having, having talked about it. Mm. But like when Crowder comes to, out and gets a million hits yeah. because he's addressing it directly, then I'm like, but at least while we right. while we're talking about it, we're emphasizing how much we don't want to be talking about it. So it's <laughs> so we, fun. So, it's so, fun. So, yeah. so, so now we're now we're innocent. Now anyway, and next time I, I I said it in the beginning. I'll say it again. I'm like, I would rather be talking about a lot of other things, <laughs> but I do. A part of me is concerned that Crowder is is extremely important in pushing back against the establishment, pushing back against war, uh, corruption, deep state, etc. And he's been put in a position by this where he's he, he has no ability to provide the context to defend himself. Yep.
because of legal reasons and because of PR reasons. Mm -hmm. And I personally understand something about the PR lock where people can go to the press and make up stories about you mm -hmm. and you are legally barred from defending yourself. Mm -hmm. I, I, so I see this and I'm just like, this pisses me off. You know, like I, I would love it if we knew exactly what, if full detail. But he even said, for legal reasons, he can't, he can't yeah. break down everything that's happening. It's, it's likely it's, that you won't actually get full, like the full story too, because they'll have some kind of like, yeah. uh, you know, Here, let me tell you guys, disclosure comps, uh, clause or whatever. Crowder's got this, this big company. He's got this big deal, and he's going to lose half, half his assets. So I'll, I'll tell you this: we'll speak in pure hypotheticals. You got somebody who runs a company that's worth a lot of money, but also has a lot of employees, and it requires those resources to pay those employees. You get sued by someone who's worth nothing, who gets a, a law firm on contingency, who, who knows that you will be forced to settle. They then start leaking fake news to the press that the press eats up and spits out. And then if you say anything, the courts will admonish you. And so all you can do is say, they're getting away with it because they have nothing to lose. They have no money. They have nothing. They, there's, there's no employees. There's no risk. If the court comes at us because we counter their lies in the corporate press, so they launder the smears through intermediaries, and then you are left sitting there unable to do anything. And, and even if there is a follow-up, they, they know that for every, let's say, 100 people that see the original video, how many of those original 100 are going to see the follow-up where it goes, no, actually, this is what happened, or nobody. hey, here's the character. Nobody ever sees Maybe nobody. You see that on Twitter where it'll be total lie, 50,000 retweets, and then the LOL JK gets like three shares, and you go, yep. they, 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 know, they do it on purpose, too. Nobody ever sees the retraction yeah. either when yeah. it comes up in an article. Nope. Thanks for watching this clip from the Timcast IRL podcast. Hang out with us live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. and become a member over at Timcast.com for uncensored members-only shows exclusive. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you all next time.